Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Wham Bam flexible wheel plate system. I'm Jay, and this is my 3D adventure. Okay, so as you can see, um, I've received my reward from the Kickstarter campaign. Um, and this was obviously packaged in um, some black wrap as well. And the reason I've unboxed it to this stage is because, as you can see, there was quite a bend in the packaging. And I wanted to get it open um, as soon as possible to see if there was any damage to the contents. And um, luckily there isn't. Um, and I'll show you why that is in a second. So we've been quite lucky there that the packaging is actually quite well designed. Um, and a lot of thought has gone into it. So let's open it up a bit further and see what we've got inside. So as you can see, the contents of your order is sort of in this um, X shaped bit of packaging. So this strength is all in this main inner square. And then there's nothing actually hold in the, the edges. So that's where the bend came from. It was the outer corners that were bent. So luckily there's no problems there. So I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but this is the Wham Bam 310 by 310 kit. Um, and there's actually some addition, there's an additional sheet in here, which is um, something we could add to our pledge. So let's get rid of a bit more packaging. So that is the extra sheet that I ordered. So this is a 235 by 235 and it's just the PEX sheet. So this PEX sheet is actually going to go on the printer bot here um, as the new build surface. So that we can put aside. So let's see what you get if you were buying this kit um, for your printer. So you obviously get your, another bit of packaging. So this is the kit as it's sold. So let's open this up. So in the kit, you get um, a set of instructions, along with some Wham Bam stickers. Uh, and these are shims to um, basically level out your bed if your bed is slightly unlevel or uh, has a slight bow in it. Um, there's um, actually some really good tutorials been done by Peter who's the person behind Wham Bam um, and there'll be a link to his YouTube channel um, and you can see how you use these shims um, and how you actually go about installing the Wham Bam system so for now we're just going to have a look and see what I've received so this is the PEX sheet um, so this is basically similar to a PEI but this is uh, their formulation um, and this has got 3M adhesive on the back um, and it's got, I don't know if this is like laser etched in the corner here, you probably can't see that, but you just got the, the Wham Bam PX sort of branding, very nice. And then I suppose the main part of the kit is the actual flexible plate itself, so at the moment it's stuck to the magnet, and this is, re this is a really strong flexible magnet, so I'll just, there we go get that off. So there's the, the Wham Bam flexible plate. Um, again it's got some like laser etching on the logo. I'm not sure if I'll be able to um, see if I can get that to focus for you. There you go. So that actually looks really nice. I like that. Let me just uh, refocus this there we go I think that's in focus yeah so that's the flexible part and then you've got the actual magnetic sheet that you would stick to your build plate again some laser etching in the middle um, and again 3M um, adhesive on the back so that is basically your Wham Bam system. Uh, now this is going to get installed onto my, I'll just show you how that magnet 
So that is quite strong. It took that out of my hand to to put it back onto the magnet. So that is basically your wham bam system, your magnetic sheet, your flexible build plate and then your PEX surface. So this is actually going to go on my D-Bot um, and it, I haven't actually got to the stage where I can install it yet um, because I'm obviously doing some other modifications. So when I get around to fitting it I'll do sort of a video on that whole process but I just wanted to get this unboxing video out there so that you could see what you were going to be getting if you was to purchase this kit so let me just reposition the camera um, and we can sort of close this video out so hopefully that quick unboxing is of help to you if you are thinking about ordering the kit um, it's I really like the idea of removable wheel plates um, I had a DIY solution for the printer bot for a while um, and as I haven't got that system on my D bot I really miss it it's uh, just so much easier for getting prints off you you don't risk sort of gouging the bed at all so I'm really looking forward to getting that installed on the D bot um, the only other thing I want to just quickly talk about in this video is um, sort of the purchasing of printers um, now we see a lot of people on Facebook and Twitter and other media platforms asking for advice on what printer to get and all of this um, and I'm actually a really um, I'm, so, I'm sort of really into the recycling basically getting as much use out of a machine or component as possible so there's actually a Facebook group called 3D Printing uh, Buy Sell UK uh, so there'll be a link in the description to that Facebook group um, and it's really good because it allows people uh, it's primarily for the people in the UK um, there's probably the version for the US guys or Europe or wherever um, but it's really good because it allows people who have got a machine that maybe they've used and tweaked and got to really good printing standard uh, but for whatever reason has decided to move on to maybe a bigger printer um, and it's a place where we can actually sell our second hand equipment so it's definitely worth um, heading over to that Facebook group um, and joining up and just seeing if there's anything that might you might find it as of use for you um, so yeah I just wanted to quickly put that out there because I know there's a lot of people um, who are thinking about getting printers and um, obviously we do when, when I do a video uh, I'm obviously talking to you about components and the printers I've got um, but it's a good place to have a look if you're interested in getting one so yeah I just wanted to put that um, little shout out to them on the video um, so that's about it for now um, on the next video I'm going to be having another look at the linear rail mod for the D-Bot um, I've printed the parts um, and I'm basically ready to install the y-axis linear rails so yeah that will be the next thing that I do a video about so thanks for watching um, please like the video consider subscribing if you haven't already um, and I'll see you next time thank you